Okay, aloha and good morning, Dr. Robert Kassar. How you guys doing? This is an Earther Academy members only video. We're gonna connect the dots together about the thyroid. I'm gonna show you my personal thyroid protocol and let's talk about the thyroid first. So I wrote down a few notes just so I don't forget a few things, okay? Because there's lots of lectures that we've done before specifically uh, to be able to show the connection. Remember the thyroid is a master gland. It is an endocrine gland. It regulates many hormones, okay, from calcium going in, in and out of your bone, okay, a hormone called calcitonin, to T3 or T4, okay, thyroxin or triodothyronine, okay, these are hormones that make us so we're active, make us so we're, we're vibrant, make us so we could develop normally, okay, make us so we don't have anxiety or depression, okay, so of I would say <clears throat> you know so many people that I see have iodine deficiencies and there's so many people taking drugs called Cytomil or Synthroid okay that's not good but then again have you tried a other direction remember the thyroid works specifically off of iodine nothing more nothing less and you can either go ahead and get your iodine from Dulce okay from nori sea vegetables this is our icelandic kelp powder you can get your iodine from the sea and there are other plants that have minute trace elements of iodine but the iodine supports the the gland making what it needs to make okay this gland remember is called a master gland and it does have a master too but it's a master over a lot parts of the body below it but what's above it, okay, the thyroid's right here. It's a butter shape, <clears throat> butterfly shaped organ. It's about two inches long, right below the Adam's apple. Okay, and people in the old days used to get what's called goiter. And they used to get the swollen throat. And that was very common. Okay, so <clears throat> what did they do? They put iodine in your salt. But the salt, remember, that they're giving you, okay, is just sodium chloride salt. That's not good either. And what kind of iodine are they putting in? So anyways, I don't like to mix iodine with poisonous salt. And man-made salt is poisonous, sodium chloride. Regular salt has about 80 plus macronutrient minerals, micronutrient minerals in the sodium chloride. Okay, so <clears throat> anyways, I'm going to show you a way that you can go ahead and rebuild, renew, and reset your thyroid. Your thyroid is controlled by another master, even though it's, like I said, a master gland from here below. But what controls it above is the pituitary, the hypothalamus. Now, the pituitary has many functions as a master gland too. It's a master as above everything below is to the activity of the pituitary gland the activity to the hypothalamus to these things that actually secrete regulating hormones okay to go ahead and stimulate stimulate hormones like thyroid stimulating hormone from the pituitary sends it from here down to here <clears throat> and if this thyroid has fuel well then it has the ability to possibly produce what it needs and no one knows how it works, so don't even think. Oh, T3, T4, triodothyronine, thyroxin, calcitonin. Yeah, they're all not nice words. But all we know is if the thyroid and the pituitary and hypothalamus have some form of connection, then that whole area, okay, is basically who you are. It is your metabolism. It is your protein synthesis. It is your child development. It is your sexual development. It is your sexual, as you could say, functionality yes it is so <clears throat> you know the thyroid also increases uh well actually not increase but it it can increase and or decrease the heart rate remember the thyroid is here and the heart is below the spleen the kidney the livers all these different things are supported by what lives below it remember and the, the pituitary is the master gland to tell that thing okay in the military the thyroid to be in line with what it tells it to do so <clears throat> the worldwide deficiency 
is not just iodine, it's magnesium, it's silica, okay? It's, it's real nutrients, real food, it's chronic dehydration. It's all these little pieces that actually destimulate the thyroid, okay? Putting a cell phone up to your head destimulates the thyroid. What do you think? It helps it? Remember, this is pulse technology. So <clears throat> now the thyroid, uh, remember, has a lot to do with metabolism. And you're thinking metabolism. Yeah, it's the way your cells work. Are they working slow or are they efficient? optimal okay can they go ahead and snap up to what is needed or are they dragging all the time okay a lot of people are are what sick and tired and tired of being sick and tired and most likely have a thyroid problem so <clears throat> you know as we said before you know there's lots of different types of of you can call them symptoms of hypothyroidism are you overweight well that's a symptom isn't it of of hypothyroidism Okay, they have hyperthyroidism, Graves' disease, hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's disease. Okay, all these names. What do I do about it? Do I take a magic pill and hope for the best? Remember, Synthroid, Cytomil, this has been around for a long time. I've been practicing since 1984, and half my patients were on Synthroid back then. And most of them were women. Okay, most of them. So, <clears throat> you know, you can check your iodine, this, that. You can check, well, guys... You need iodine daily. So I just wanted to go through what the, the principal role of the thyroid is. Remember, it's your metabolism of the cell. And the metabolism of the cell, remember, has to do with the engine within the cell. But there's something that tells the cell to do that thing, and that is the thyroid. And there's something that tells the thyroid to do its thing, and that's the pituitary and hypothalamus. So it's this triad of systems just like in the military <laughs> jump when i say jump okay it's what is above that tells that master gland to be able to do what it does by intelligence above so remember you can have hair loss anxiety or irrit irritability oh you're moody okay uh you can't concentrate difficult in concentration these are all iodine deficiencies <clears throat> depression okay you're sensitive to hot oh it's too hot or it's too cold. And I used to have these problems before. Okay, I used to sweat at night, sweating at night. Just not feeling good in my muscles. Joint pain, muscle pain. These all have to do a lot with how glands tell the body, the muscles, to do what they do. So, you gained weight lately? Well, can't lose weight? You don't feel like doing anything? That's also caused from other glands too, that the, the gonads produce testosterone and testosterone in men make us do things, okay? And estrogen makes us feel things. And if you don't have a blend of testosterone, boys, and estrogen, high testosterone, or way more than estrogen, then you're unblended. So if you take away your testosterone because maybe your thyroid's not working, maybe you're using too much wireless technology, your testes are not producing any types of hormones. So what do you have? No testosterone, high estrogen, okay? Testosterone makes you do. If you take that away, you're not doing much. And if you raise up the estrogen, because that's all you got, you start to get effeminized. You start to feel all the time, okay? What makes you feel good? How you doing? Oh, I'm feeling great. I didn't ask you how you feel. Okay, testosterone, how you doing? Oh, I did it this all day. Okay, so testosterone, remember, makes you do, and estrogen makes you feel. So let's say a female now, she has more estrogen, okay, and a male has, excuse me, has, a female has more estrogen and, and they have less testosterone, but they're still blended. The testosterone lets them be the female to care, to love, to nourish, to create, and procreate. Okay, and you need testosterone, guys, so you don't just have all that feeling all the time, and gals. So anyways, all these glands are connected, and if your thyroid's not working, do you think, well, anything else is working? You can go ahead, as I get into this other protocol, uh, the protocols here, we'll start this, it'll be part two, which is, uh, what do I do to stimulate, re-stimulate 
my pituitary, my hypothalamus, my thyroid, and maybe my testes or my ovaries to be able to start to work together because all those glands need to work together. They all produce hormones. They all regulate. They all do things in the body. They do. Okay, and if you get too much of one and not enough of the other, now you have imbalance. And that's what I see in most of the people, especially young, young people under 30 years old. Very highly emotional. They don't do anything. Yeah, I'm not talking about talking on your phone. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, so anyways, I'll show you the pro uh, practices and principles that I've learned, okay, to be able to re-stimulate my thyroid. So we're just going to specifically talk about the thyroid protocol. And so let me start this and we'll go ahead and do part two. But again, remember guys, if you're not eating sea vegetables every day, I do every day, okay, all different types of kelp, there's iodine and some other foods too, look it up. But the easiest way to get it is to use 2% or 5% Lugol's iodine solution and that's mixed with potassium uh, iodide. Okay, this is a solution that I use. You start out with 2% and you can raise your, your concentration up. And you can use this on many areas. Remember, for cuts, you could use this on, on exterior skin. You could use it for infections. And you can use it for detoxification. So part two, I'm going to show you these different uh, layers. And again, this is what I've learned. All you can do is practice. All you can do is is really see the miracle of life. Once you feed certain glands and you stimulate, you're going to stimulate these glands up here with detoxification and also with exercise. This gland here needs to be stimulated with its correct food supply, which is iodine. And if you don't have iodine every day, guys, I'm sorry. Do you think this gland runs on love? No, it runs specifically and chiefly on iodine, which is a worldwide deficiency, especially, guys, where are you getting it from? <laughs> where are you getting it from? Especially if you live in the city. You live in the city, you're not getting any iodine. What are you getting it in? And how much stress do you have? How much fluoride are you uptaking every day? So when we do the protocols, I'm going to show you that, that detoxification is also a part of it. So certain types of, of accumulated toxicities will be pushed out with the iodine when we put it on the surface. And there are ways to drive it into the body in that area. And you can take it from plants internally. I don't take this internally, anything uh, uh, other than the plants for iodine. And I use the potassium iodide and, of course, iodine combo on treatment and therapy. And you can use it for maintenance, too. So we'll get into this part, too, guys. Okay, just wanted to show you. Remember, the master gland, the thyroid. Take care of it. Well, I didn't even know about it. I know. No one does. And then you can look in the mirror again, and then you can see if you feel that that's the way your body should be. Remember, body fat is a creature, guys. We've talked about this. It eats, we eat, it, it eats any type of sugar, okay? And, and the reason being why iodine needs to be put into the system so your immune system can go ahead and have some willpower over the parasites or the alien creatures that live in the body. So look at your thyroid as sort of like, uh, like a big military the big military and it is the ground forces right here that tell the rest of the body to do what it does make the cells run faster oh not enough calcium okay in your blood because your blood needs 9 to 11 milligrams per deciliter of calcium everybody anybody knows that how is it regulated okay and you're drinking coffee every day remember huge acidity it's taking the calcium 9 to 11 milligrams per deciliter out of your system so what does it do the thyroid kicks in calcitonin hormone it puts it out into okay the bone and it starts breaking down the bone to put it in your blood so why do you think you get osteoporosis why do you think you have brittleness of bones okay it's because you're taking a lot of different types of foods in your body that are assaulting the calcium ratio in your blood remember this is complex so you got to learn all the terrain modification protocols, practices, and principles, upgrade, enhance, and optimize as much as you can, when you can, if you can. That's it, guys. I know it's a big job. And that's why, again, we have Earth Academy. And it's all a work in progress. And all I can do is show you some of the ideas, disciplines, and concepts that I not only know that work, but I, of course, have been using these for over 40 years. I have. 
and everything is collectively remember trying to make it easier trying to make it more efficient and trying to make it more economical for everybody because the body needs to be repaired it needs to be maintained it needs to have the correct fluids put inside it and of course food that tastes good is for your heart it is for your emotions but the real good food for you remember is the stuff that is well not really tasting like water the sun okay grounding yourself getting out in nature those are free <laughs> okay and all the other things are for pleasure you do need nutrition but you mostly need nutrition from the sun and this also stimulates the thyroid also stimulates the hormones also stimulates the brain to be out in the sun so anyways i don't want to skip around but guys we're going part two and we're going to go into the thyroid protocols uh earth academy only but you need to learn guys and gals if you feel lazy if you feel anxiety if you can't sleep at night it's not just maybe you uh, uh, shutting off your Wi-Fi it's not just maybe you drinking more water no how about if the thyroid does not have its fuel then it will not work and you're gonna take a magic pill to fix that remember that okay guys part two we'll see you in a sec <laughs>